Hi everyone, Jason here with another Tinkercad tutorial, and in this one we're looking at another example project discussed in my new book, Taking Tinkercad to the Next Level, where I overview advanced 3D design features and strategies and tools for working with Tinkercad and 3D printers. And in this video, we're looking at how to manipulate imported 3D models. So for example, STL or OBJ files that have been imported into Tinkercad, which weren't actually made in Tinkercad. So as an example, I've downloaded the Pickleball Trophy that I have on my Thingiverse page, which you can find in the video description linked below. And to import 3D models into Tinkercad, you can click the Import button and select your 3D design and upload it like so. You might need to scale the design down if it's too large to fit within your Tinkercad work plane. And you can always tell when a design wasn't created in Tinkercad through a few different ways. First off, imported meshes usually have some surface defects. You can see some cracks and some lines like this in the wiffle ball, and that's because of how it was exported as a mesh and then imported into Tinkercad. You also can't ungroup these shapes. So when I click on it, I can't ungroup the shape, right? Because it was imported as a solid. Tinkercad can't see how it was designed. Maybe it wasn't even created in Tinkercad in the first place and therefore can't be ungrouped. And you often find uh, models in the Tinkercad public gallery which look amazing, but really they were just imported meshes like this. But as discussed in my book, we can still use Tinkercad's fundamental tools for constructive solid geometry to manipulate these shapes. Like for example, let's say I want to change the year, right? I can't ungroup this, but I can manipulate this shape by grouping other shapes to it and removing or adding material. So let's grab the round roof shape and we can rotate this around and I'm going to bring this to the front of my trophy and actually we'll look at it from the bottom in a 2D perspective view by clicking this little button here to change to an orthographic view and that lets us see your design in a flat perspective. I'm then going to turn my snap grid off which makes moving the shape a little bit more accurate and easy to do. And I believe I should be able to manipulate my round roof to match the front of my trophy, the curve of the front of my trophy really nicely here. Okay. And then I'm going to bring this down, right? So I've covered the front of my trophy with this round roof shape. If we group the round roof to the trophy, we see that the original year is completely gone from the front. And then what we can do is use our basic shapes, the text tool, where I can of course select my year, although I'm gonna do one number at a time. And the reason I'm doing that is because I would like to transform and place these shapes on the surface of my trophy. So I'll start with my two and get this scaled and just right, I'm going to press cruise and grab the back of the shape and you'll see that it locks onto the front of my trophy design. If I hold shift on my keyboard, it actually snaps to the inside like so. And I can set that to be a hole. I'm then going to use the duplicate and repeat tool to bring that over a little bit. And again, use cruise to snap it to the front. And we'll change that to be a zero. And then again, make a copy, use cruise to snap it to the front, hold shift, and make it a two, oops. And one more time. All right, I can then select everything, although first I think I'll use the align tool just to vertically align my numbers there, and then group them to my trophy. Then of course, we can adjust the color of our trophy, make it a nice gold design, and download and 3D print, or do whatever it is that we'd like. So that's how you can still edit imported 3D shapes in Tinkercad. No, we can't ungroup them, but we can cut them apart by creating holes. We can group and add other shapes to them. We can create patches in their designs. Whatever we need to do to manipulate imported shapes to create custom things in Tinkercad. Thanks for watching, and of course, please don't forget to subscribe and find more tutorials and guides on my YouTube channel. And don't forget to check out this book if you want to learn more about advanced Tinkercad modeling skills and 3D printing.